This map focuses student learning on the meaning of the term common denominator and on the procedural steps for changing one fraction so that it has the same denominator as another. Let's begin by hiding the procedural step. Next, click on the linking buttons. That way, whatever fraction you type here shows in the model above, and whatever fraction you show in the model shows below as a number. Begin by using the models to create two fractions with uncommon denominators. Drag the first fraction over to the second to help students see the individual parts of the first fraction are not equal to the second. Explain that when we're computing with fractions, it's easier to do so when the fractions are partitioned into parts that are the same size and therefore have the same denominators. Ask students if the circle on the left can be changed so that it is divided into twelfths. Have students predict the amount of parts that would be shaded and move the slider next to the model on the left to create the model matching their predictions. Once both models contain common denominators, explain that there is a procedure that can be used to find the common denominator without relying on models. We simply multiply the first fraction by a multiple of one. In this case, four-fourths. We know that the number three in the first denominator is a multiple of twelve, and that three times four equals twelve, and since we know that to find the common denominator, we multiply a fraction that equals 1, we know that we multiply by 4 fourths. Clicking the reset button lets me do another problem. Once you have practiced some equations with linking, you can move on to unlinking, in which you will need to create the model and then enter the fraction number. In this example, students must also do the procedural steps. That means they must enter the numbers, create the models, determine the equivalence of 1 and enter it into the procedural portion, and then go back and change their model to reflect the procedural steps. In this case, two halves. Of course, the models can be hidden at any time. You can see that this mat is useful for explaining conceptually the rules for finding common denominators and that in doing so the value of the original fraction does not change.